Hey, good morning everybody. My name is JP, this is Wanda to Get Lost, and in today's little quick episode, I'm gonna show you how we flat tow our Jeep. It could be this simple forever. I've uh, already put the Jeep into position, so now the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to make the connection of our Blue Ox tow bar. And if you've been following along, you probably saw last year I changed out the lug connectors from the Blue Ox ones to these aftermarket ones by Bylot that I got off of Amazon. And the reason for that is because on our front bumper we have a D-rings that are tied into the uh, frame of the Jeep. So they actually just connect to here. So we don't need a special base plate attachment um, underneath the Jeep, which uh, a lot of other people have. So uh, my Blue Ox tow bars are compressed. These are adjustable and they have the auto locking feature. You will notice that one handle is broken here, but it still works. Um, I just snapped the little plastic piece here and Blue Ox no longer services this one. So. I'm not about to pay another thousand dollars for a new tow bar. So yeah. All right, so let's make that first connection. So all it is is just sliding this in, sliding the big pin, and then your little cotter pin. Like so. thing is we have our uh, our light connection all right so I just have it set up so it's a quick disconnect so connects right here and then I run this one like so and then I have my connection point here so I'll show you that all right so again quick connect this is an aftermarket um, light system that I put in last year. I'll link to that video as well. But you can see it's mounted right here and then it plugs into right there. So that's for my rear lights. Uh, it converts the seven pin to a four pin um, and it was a plug and play uh, adapter for this Jeep model. All right, so here's our breakaway. And then the only other thing we have to do is put our uh, connect our breakaway here and then put our safety cables All right, so here's our breakaway So that's connected on breakaway is really important because if the Jeep becomes disconnected This will pull out and activate our RVI brake inside Next thing is our safety cables and the really good thing I found out is that on the Jeep frame here, it actually has a nice spot to uh, hook right into. Um, so you don't even need special mounts. You just need a big uh, connector like this. And I just put it in like that, and then that just snaps in. And just make sure you cross your cables or your chains. All right, so now we're all set up. We have our cables attached, tow bar is attached. It's still compressed. When we pull out, these will auto lock. We have our lights and we have our breakaway cable. Next thing to do is to put the Jeep into transmission into neutral. All right, everybody, I'm inside the Jeep. Uh, we're gonna put the transmission into neutral. So what you're going to do is put your key two clicks, put your put your uh, Jeep into neutral, then you're going to slide your 
transmission into neutral as well it's down over and right here and you can kind of wiggle it and make sure you know like so now what you're going to do start the jeep and we're going to put it into reverse make sure we don't move we did move forward but we're not moving back which means we're on a little bit of a slope and put it into drive we're not moving good put it back into neutral stop the Jeep and now we're going to put it into park turn it off and we are all set all right so we are not leaving yet uh, we got a couple of things to do before we hit the road so uh, I'll come back and show you how I set up the RVI brake because uh, I'm gonna do that once we're ready to flat toe all right see you in a few minutes all right everybody I'm at the dump station and we're gonna hook up the RVI brake uh, for our braking. So I got the key in double to the second position uh, Take our RVI brake three. We're gonna put it in the foot well like So Good so that's on, now we're gonna plug it in. And then we're gonna follow the prompts. Push auto position button. Push auto position button again. Push auto position button one more time. And that is it. So now we are all set up for flat towing. We leave the key obviously in that position uh, so that way our tire can, our front wheels can turn. So that's it for uh, how we flat tow our Jeep. Pretty simple. All right, I'm gonna finish dumping out our tanks. We're hitting the road. Uh, we're off to Birmingham, Alabama. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along on our crazy RV journey. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.